I don't know about you guys, but I love the look and the free spirit of a Cosmo. Let's do a vase, various shades of pink, full of Cosmos. I'm using a couple of shades of blue. One is a powder blue and one is a deep blue. And I'm just brushing them on side to side in a different pattern, back and forth, back and forth. And then I'm adding in just a soft white and then a very light shade of pink. I'm using my bright white to do a very thin jar of water and I'm gonna fill it full of freshly picked Cosmos, okay? The brush is an angle shader. I've got a bright green and a deep green. Don't get stuck on which colors, just know that there needs to be contrast when you're doing your stems. I'm jumping in there, making it pretty random, I'm filling up the jar full of stems. Careful to offset the depth and deep color on one side rather than it being perfectly center in the middle. And now I'm just kind of framing out my green stems. I plan on loading up Cosmos all over the stems. So most of this is gonna be covered up. Still using an angle shader in a half inch. Bringing some of that green around to just kind of frame. All of this is acrylic. Okay, it doesn't need to be too perfect. I'm gonna get a clean brush. I'm actually gonna use the Filbert, which is the favorite from the Turquoise Iris collection. I'm gonna start with my deepest violet color that I have, and I'm placing them around, remembering to keep it a little off-center. Do not make the flowers perfect. Just because you put a flower on the right does not mean that it needs to go in the exact same place on the left. Make sure it is totally off balance. I think that looks way more natural and fresh. So I have the violet, then as you can see at the top of the uh, canvas that I'm painting there, I have a magenta color and then a light magenta. All three colors combined with a white to create various shades of pink. And I'm just doubling up my petals, turning my canvas around, and giving each petal or each flower five petals, some of them falling and I'm smudging them, overlapping them, filling in spots. So in my right hand, I'm doing the deeper magenta and in my left hand, I have the lighter pink with the white to add highlights. I'm still using, well, it actually looks like I switched brushes there. Oh, and the sun comes in. <laughs> the sun could not make up its mind which direction it wanted to go, whether it wanted to come out and play or go back behind the clouds. So I'm continuing to do this and building up my pink layers. I'm using brushes from the Turquoise Iris Pro Collection. Just kind of filling in in areas, loading it up in certain areas as well, bringing back some of that deep violet in and creating a little bit of pink all over at the very bottom. Then I got my bright green and filled in just a little bit for stems and kind of popping in a little bit of color there. I'm going to use my half inch flat and create some centers and a bright yellow for my Cosmos. Add a little bit of shading around on the vase and around the edges. All of that just creates more and more texture that I think makes it look more real. I'm so happy with it. I hope that you have fun creating your vase of Cosmos.